हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू एक उम्मीद हेल्प यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑफ स्प्रिंग बूट ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज थैंक यू फॉर ऑल योर सपोर्ट प्लीज डू हिट ए लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो विल चेक अबाउट पेजिनेशन कंसेप्ट एंड हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट इन आवर स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन ओके सो बेसिकली इफ यू हैव ए ह्यूज रिकॉर्ड एंड दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस यू वॉन्ट टू डू सम पेजिनेशन so either you can do it on your front end side like using if you are building an application with the help of angular and any other ui framework or javascript framework you can do the pagination on the front end side as well and the other option is you can go and do with the help of java itself so that the server load it get decreases at it at a same instant of time whatever the number of record you want to fetch for each page you can do it so aaj uh, in this video i am going to talk about like how to implement the pagination concept in our spring boot application so for this one the first most important thing so that uh, we have to um, use like uh, there is a one uh, interface with a name paging and sorting repository okay so that interface i'll have to implement it so let's go one by one step the first step is previously we are using the curd repository interface and here i will add another interface that is a name pagination paging and sorting repository right so that is the interface name and i'll have to pass the object the first two one should be the student and the type is same as integer okay so this one is the repository that is provided by the test spring boot so in this interface will have to implement and in this interface will be using function called find all find all i'm going to override that function find all this one pageable so instead of overriding i'll just keep it as interface i'll provide a implementation because this is the interface so i am not going to provide in, in default in default uh, implementation here will provide a implementation in the extended in class okay so here what i did i and just created this method that is a abstract method find all okay so that find all take a pageable pageable is another interface so that find all method uh, take a pageable interface object okay so now let's go to our controller class and quickly create let me copy this one and create another method so this method i'll have to give a name fetch by page just random name i have pro i have given for the time being by for the time being just keep it as a test and type is get okay and the return type is so if you see here this return type is page so in the same way i'll have to return the page of student okay so i am keeping it as a page of student okay fetch by page and here i don't want to take any 
path variable so instead of path variable i'll have to take pageable pageable sorry mm. this pageable is another class let me a spring framework yes this one not the java awt this one pageable uh, page okay and in this have to return 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 this dot student service dot so we uh, i do as of now if you go to this uh, a student service a student service is referring to your a student service this class and in this i don't have any method specific to call the repository find all pageable interface so let me quickly first create a method here public and it also return the same a student object okay and uh, find find all by page just given random name whatever you can provide as per your convenience pageable pageable interface okay and the return type here again return my repository is a student repo so i'll have to keep this one a student <laughs> repo dot what is the net method name find all by pageable so this method is coming from this a student repo class so in this student repo i have created a find all method so that find all method I'll, i'm calling from the reference of this one find all and passing the object of p a g so let me put a name here pageable okay so that is uh, i think uh, you can understand this one right so and the final step here i have to call find all by pageable and in this pageable i'll pass this reference of a page okay so i think uh, we are good so let me quickly again go through this step by step so first what i did i have implemented the paging and sorting repository that is a inbuilt interface provided by the spring boot and in which i'll have to pass these two parameters and uh, just uh, return this find all by pageable and keep it as a abstract method okay and in our service class same as the other i have created this find all by page and in this i'll have to pass the pageable and that pageable will go to the find all method that is a pageable uh, interface method okay and the final step is in controller i have created a method with a name fetch by page and that takes a pageable object and that pageable object when you pass the page all object it pass to the find all by page and find all by page is here and it pass the same page all object to this find all and ultimately it call this page with the help of page all reference connect so that is the inbuilt api provided by the spring boot okay so now the next step is let me start the application <laughs>
okay so in the meantime is it opening you, here you can see this application is loading local host it run on this one slash my api name is test and i have to pass so what is the object pageable so pageable object will have to pass from this so for this i don't have any pageable object so what i will do so i'll provide the page number page as a one attribute as a page is zero and size is one so if i pass page zero with size one that means this is a pageable object so spring boot automatically convert these two attributes into a pageable object and pass to your this method and call this method okay so basically when we call this so it should return something but uh, i'm not getting any value so what happened let's check it out response should not be no content because we are returning something right that i forget to remove it so probably now it should work let's refresh this page localhost slash this one okay now you can see we are getting the value the first value id email id and so basically for page 0 i am getting size 1 it means one record if i change it to 2 and when i hit the enter so that means you can see it is returning a two record per page okay so similar way i can change it to the size one and page one so that means i am in page one i want another size is one so it will return the second record so in page zero it returned the id zero one and in page one it returned the id zero two in similar way let me put here page two and size one now you can see id is there so whatever the parameters you can provide based on that it is reflecting the result so by this way you can easily implement the pagination and uh, use it in your application so thank you so much if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and uh, like my video thank you so much